Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be designing a substructure for our bridge. So you can see that we have our bridge template here. This is what we're going to be using to design our substructure. And so remember from the lesson, the substructure is going to be one inch from the edge, right? One inch from the edge of your design, right? And a maximum of three inches in depth, okay? The purpose of the substructure is to support the deck and to give extra stability to your bridge. So let's start looking at our design. So we're gonna be using our template. And so the way that I'm gonna be working this is I'm gonna be using a ruler and I'm gonna be using a pencil to draw my substructure. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure in one inch from the edge of my superstructure, right? So I'm gonna do that on both sides. And so in mine, you can see I also added a, a, a little bit of extra here because my total bridge length is 10 inches. The design template had a little less than 10 inches. So I added a little bit of extra length on my, my bridge structure. And so I'm at one inch. That is where my substructure is going to start. Okay. And so this can be any design that you choose, right? And so my design is going to be a block structure. And I'm going to have support struts in between supporting my base design so one inch in and for me i'm going to go two inches i'm going to go two inches down so i'm going to take my ruler i'm going to measure two inches down okay and then from there what i'm going to do is the width of a piece of balsa wood i'm going to start drawing my structure right so you can see that the width of a piece of balsa wood is one eighth of an inch right so all the drawings that you're going to be doing are going to be one eighths of an inch, right? So I'm going to do my one eighths here. Down here on the bottom, I'm going to do one eighths. And then I'm going to draw my connecting lines. And so my my inside piece is going to be my inside piece is going to be here. And let's connect that on the bottom. And so I'm going to do that on both sides, okay? So I'm going to draw my inside pieces. Okay, again, I'm going to go on this side right here. Measure one-eighths of an inch. And I'm going one-eighths of an inch in, right? Because we, we want to be one inch from the edge. Going two inches down. Right? And then I'm going to draw my lines, right? Two inches down. Okay, and this is the template that we're going to be using to build our substructure. Okay, so that's my first piece that I'm drawing. Okay, my next piece that I'm going to be putting on for me is I'm going to have another piece of balsa wood, but it's going to be attached to my structure. So this right here is underneath the substructure. The substructure is attaching to the bottom side of my deck. My next piece is going to be on the outside of the deck, and it's going to be attaching from the outside of the deck to the outside of my bottom strut. So I'm going to draw my bottom strut in real quick. So my bottom strut is going to be underneath. So my total length on my substructure is going to be two inch, two and one eighths inches, right? Because I am going to have this bottom piece on here. And so you don't, you're not, you don't have to copy this, right? This is just giving you an example on what you need to do to draw your substructure in, right? And so again, this is a template that I'm going to be using to put together my substructure tomorrow when we actually build it. Okay, so there's my bottom. And so my next piece is going to be connecting on the outside of my bridge truss right here. And it's going to connect the outside of my bottom of my substructure, right? So I'm going to have some dashed lines right here. Let's do one eighth of an inch. One eighth of an inch up here. Okay. Okay, so then we got my outside support. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So I'm going to measure one eighth of an inch. 
both sides and draw that in. Okay, so there's my outside support and you can see that we have our inside support as well. Okay, so next thing that we have to do is we have to figure out what we're going to do for the design on the inside of our substructure. So for me, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do uh, diagonal struts going in the opposite direction, supporting the weight of the structure. And then in the center, I'm going to do two X bracings, right? I'm going to do two pieces of X bracing. So I'm going to have, I'm actually going to have three additional supports here in the center and so we have to space those evenly right so we know that our distance from the outside to the outside is two inches right and so we have to and we know that the total length is going to be eight inches right so we have to find that center point the center point for me on this this measurement from the inside to the inside is going to be 3.75 inches right because when i go right here it's going to be seven and a half inches from here to here. So I'm going to go 3.75 to find my center point, right? And that's going to be where that strut is centered on that point right there. So using your ruler, I'm going to go here, do my outside st structure edges, right? And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to measure 3.75, making sure that I have a line Sometimes it's hard to read the ruler when it's, there's a lot of words there. Okay, and so then I'm going to do my measurements again. So the reason why I'm doing it on both sides is so that way I know that my lines are even, right? So you can try to eyeball it, but if you try to eyeball it, you may not have a straight line when you build your template, right? Okay, so that's going to be from... That's the center point, and now we have to figure out our next two center points, right? So from right here to here is going to be, for me, 3.75. So a half of that, we can do the math, it's going to be 1 and 5 eighths inches. So I'm going to go 1 and 5 eighths inches, find the center point right here. So 1 and 5 eighths, so remember, that's 1 and a half. 5 eighths is going to be 2 over from that. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here, 1 and 5 eighths. So there's, just, there's half, there's five eighths, okay? And then I'm going to do the same thing, draw my lines, right? Draw my support structures, okay? And I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom. So one and five eighths right here, draw my two lines, and then one and five eighths here, and then draw my two lines, all right? And so now I'm going to do my support structures. And again, guys, you can be creative as creative as possible, but remember, you're using the engineer design process to come up with your structure, okay? And it has to make sense, right? Don't be putting all kinds of uh, struts and bracing that doesn't make sense, that's not supporting anything, right? So now we have our base structure. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of look at how my design is designed on the top structure, and I'm going to kind of mirror that for the sides here. So I'm going to be put, putting two support structures here, one on each side, okay? So I'm just gonna put some, some measurement guidelines right here for, one -eighth of an, for that one-eighth of an inch on both sides, because this is where my support is gonna go. It's gonna go in this direction for this side. And then I'm gonna measure that, draw my lines. There you go. Okay, so that's gonna be my first support. And so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. It's gonna be going in the other direction though, right? Okay, so put my lines. Try to speed this up a little bit here. Okay. And so remember guys, you're using the lesson that you're looking at today, which is the PDF, right? You're looking at the lesson. You're looking at the guidelines that have been given, right? So kind of one inch in, maximum of three inches spaced down. And the reason why we're going one inch in, one inch in is because this is, a, this is based on inches, right? And we wanna make sure that we have enough room for our, our, our bridge to be laying on the abutments. The abutments are the area where your bridge is laying on, right? 
Okay, so now we have our supports. And now for our center, we're going to be doing our X bracing, right? So we're going to go right here. I'm going to do my X bracing right here. Okay. And so now I'm going to pause the video and I'm and when I come back, the X bracing will be done and we'll finish this up. We'll finish the lesson up. Okay, guys, I'm back. We, we you can see that I have my X bracing in. We have our side struts in. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to label some labels on here. Remember using my architectural writing. So I'm going to draw my lines. I'm going to point, put an arrow here, and this is going to be outside support, right? So I'm going to use the best architectural writing that I can do, right? So I do more of a block lettering. Okay, outside support, and then this is going to be my substructure side view, okay? So substructure, side view. Okay, and so the only other thing that we have to draw now is our end view. And so that's going to be the side view. So there's going to be two sides that look like this, and then we're going to have an end view. So you have to figure out what you want your end view to look like. And so for me, it's, it's going to just be a regular square, right? So we're going to be putting an end here at the end of our bridge, right? It's going to be connecting kind of to this area right here below our strut. And so to do this, we know that our bridge... And we can, and you can double check this, right? And we know that our bridge is an inch and a half wide. And so I'm going to do inch and a half wide right here. And then it's going to be two and one eighths inches deep, right? For me. And so this is going to be based on your side view, right? Your measurements that you're doing for your bridge. Mine is two and one eighths inches and then one and a half inches on the top as well. So, okay. And then, so this is what my side view is gonna look like. And so I'm gonna go with the block right here. And so this is going to be actually one eighths inches here. One eight inches here. This is where how my block is going to be connected, right? So I'm going to have two pieces that are going this direction, and then my other pieces will be connecting like this. Okay, and so remember, this is the side view. This is how you would view it from the from the, I mean the front view, right, end view. So we're looking at this right here. So we're gonna have my two pieces going like this. And then I am gonna have one support that is supporting this structure. Remember, we're, we're looking at supporting that square, making sure the square doesn't collapse. And so as you go, as I go through my structure, I'm gonna be alternating. There's gonna be several of these little blocks throughout my end or throughout my the center of my structure. I'm going to be alternating this. So one would be going this direction and then one, and I'm going to put that there, will be going the other direction. But that one I'm going to be drawing as a dashed line showing that it's behind this structure, right? You may not be able to actually see this from the end, but this is where it's going to be, right? So I'm going to have a dashed line right here and this is going to be going this direction. Okay, and so the only thing we got left to do now is just label this as end view. Okay, and this is what you guys will be turning in to view to view blueprint right template has my 
has my substructure view, my substructure side view labeled, and then the end view. This is what you guys are going to be turning in for today. Good luck, and if you have questions, let me know.